Hey y'all, back with another video today. Um, I wanted to show you guys some more of this uh, this death pile I got going on before I post it. Uh, so without further ado, let's start going over some of this stuff. Um, like I was saying in the last video, I'm from the south, so we get a lot of hunting, uh, a lot of hunting camo stuff. And depending on your area, you know, uh, if you're just starting out, kind of get an idea of, of what's going on in your area, you know, what people do, and if there's any activities like, for example, hunting, Keep it, learn about that stuff. Um, we're, I'm down here in the South. <clears throat> so there's a lot of like uh, Wrangler, a lot of Levi's, but a lot of Wrangler, um, camo stuff, mossy, you know, just kind of stuff like that. Just get an idea in your area um, of what you're going to have more of. You know, watching these videos, um, when I first started, uh, you know, I'd see all kinds of brands and stuff. Uh, like, uh, for example, uh, like Ar Arcturix. Uh, yeah, that's a good, we don't find that stuff down here, man, because it's, uh, it's just hot, you know, so just kind of learn your area, that's just one example, but just learn your area, um, and figure out what you got going on and, and, and buy it and sell it, but anyway, so, um, first thing first, we got a vintage, uh, this is a vintage Cabela's, um, thick, like, flannel, uh, chamois, chamois shirt, these things do great, these vintage chamois shirts, um, Always worth looking out for. LL Bean has some good ones too. Um, but yeah, I love finding these. Whenever I see one, I'm like, what? But uh, anyway, let's see. Got ourselves a, oh, this is like a women's, um, it's a women's Columbia jacket. It's got the lining, which a lot of times I find them, but I find them without the lining. Uh, these are cool. I don't, you know, it's summertime or whatever, so it might sit for a couple months, but I don't give a shit. I got it for five bucks. Or excuse me, crap. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Check it out. Check this. Check this beauty out. This is a cool one. So I was checking out at a uh, at a at a thrift store, and this was hanging up in the rack behind the counter. And I was like, "Who wore?" I was asking the, the lady I was checking out with. I was like, "Who? Who?" I thought it was like their work rack, and I was like, "Who wore this?" I was like, "I need to meet them," you know. Um, and they said somebody brought it back because it had a like a little a little tear in it. And I was like, "Oh, give it to me. Give me that." I need that, this little treasure. So anyway, look at the, look at the, oh my gosh, this thing is glorious. It is absolutely glorious. But um, it actually took the piling off this, so I'm about to sell it. But uh, sometimes you'll find stuff with piling all over. Usually I don't really, I'll just take a picture, a close-up picture of the piling just so they could kind of see like what they're getting into. Um, but that one I thought was cool enough to you know, give a little love to. Well, let's see, there's a vintage, uh, this one, you know, I don't really know if it's going to be worth anything. I think I got this thing for a dollar at a yard sale. Um, but it's like a, vin it's a vintage McGregor. Nothing crazy. It's kind of real basic. You can see some of the piling on there, too. Yeah. And, I, and I'll put that in the description. Uh, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Stuff like this, I'll put. I, I probably, I'll probably get 15 bucks for them. Not, not too much money. But, uh, you know, like, I just, I kind of just like having that stuff in the store. Like I said, just random vintage stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it brings people in or not, but I like it, so whatever. Uh, let's see. Up next, we got a vintage cashmere. Now, this thing doesn't have any holes in it, believe it or not. Um, vintage Pringle. Uh, Pringle. Made in Scotland cashmere vest. Um, it wouldn't fit me. It wouldn't look like I was wearing a bra or something. But, uh, yeah, just kind of a basic blue, but cashmere is... Pretty much, regardless of the brand, pretty much always worth picking up. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, got a cool <clears throat> Harley Davidson shirt. Now, not all of these are um, are worth a ton of money, um, but anytime I find a Harley Davidson shirt with a with a with a girl on there, I usually always get twenty bucks for them. Um, now, if, if this was this isn't this isn't really vintage. It might be early two thousands. But um, something to keep an eye out for, vintage Harley shirts. If you find them, especially if they're the brand 3D Emblem, oh, pretty good money. Pretty good money. Uh, and I got some, like, mostly just jeans, some few more jeans uh, to show you. And that's about it, I guess, for now. But uh, here are some women's rock and roll. Now, are these women's? Yeah, I think, I think they're women's. Rock and roll jeans. This is kind of a newer one I figured out um, recently. These actually sell pretty good. 20, 25 bucks to brand rock and roll. I'd never heard of them, um, but I looked them up one day and I found out they're worth money. So there you go. Now you know, now I know. 
Oh, I love finding these, man. I, man. Every time I see, I love finding these vintage, some vintage bongo jeans. Man, these are cool. These bring me back to my day. A vintage bongo um, guess. I love finding guest jeans too. It's so cool. But these are pretty cool. They're the high rise mont tapered and they're these button fly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a pretty good penny on these. I'll probably put these for 50, 60 bucks. Just because I do not find these very often. And uh, these are in good shape. I don't even see any stains on these things. These are just fabulous. Because I love finding stuff like that. <clears throat> Let's see. It's a basic pair of I always pick these up now. These aren't worth a ton but i like i just like picking up vintage stuff and i don't know if you know i'm sure you do but if you don't you're about to know but you can always tell if levi's are vintage by this tag well one this is one of the tags you can see when they got this tag in the back that looks just kind of like just a little square thing just one that's usually that i think i think those may have ran into the early 2000s but it was like the real early 2000s so now i think they're pretty much all vintage with that tag uh, but these are some 517s, pretty basic. Um, funny thing with these is the more they're the more distressed and wore out they are, so long as it's not like in the in the um, in the crotch area or, or anywhere that needs to be in good shape for functionality. Um, are pretty good, uh, pretty good money. These are fade pretty good, and I'll probably put these for like I don't know, like 30 bucks, and see what happens. I just like the vintage stuff, and I don't mind pricing it up. Like like those like for example those rock and roll jeans i'll, I'll kind of go with the market on those because they're, they're being made right now they're not anything unique or special um whereas like those vintage levi's not they're not necessarily too unique but they're still vintage and uh there's only a certain number of those out there whatever the number is there's only there's only that many but uh let's see we got some bke or buckle parker jeans now no i'll pick these up normally um it's, if they've got like the um if they got like a lot of embellishment or whatever these don't really have too much but i looked these up and this parker fit i guess not too bad i think it's gonna sell for like 20 bucks kind of bread and butter but um bread and butter stuff sells moves and it keeps the cash flows going and you know it's not flashy but um still 20 bucks all right we've got oh yeah you got a Lucky Brand denim jacket. I don't remember how much I'd get for this. Probably like 20 or 25 bucks. It's a women's small. Pretty cool, kind of basic. Again, something I'm not gonna um, be too crazy on the price. You know, I'll kind of go with the market on it. And take a little bit less of the market, you know, um, cause it's just not anything crazy. Now this is like a vintage Levi's denim jacket or, or something that's more unique. I, I, you know, I'm pretty, I'm kind of a stickler on the prices on that stuff. But this is, you know, it's kind of just, Run of the mill, good find, but uh, nothing you know like crazy unique. All right, I love finding stuff like this. It's not worth a ton of money, but I just like it. I like finding it, and it gets me excited when I find it. You know, I'm like, oh, I found a treasure, I need that. Uh, but let's say I found it, it's a vintage uh, Columbia ski jacket. Now, you can find these with way brighter colors, um, but this isn't too bad. It's got them, you know, the 90s purples and blues and whatnot. And I love finding this stuff. I'm not sure what it'll sell for. Um, Probably 20, 20, 25 bucks, something like that. But not too bad, not too bad. And stuff I like posting, stuff I like having. It looks cool in the pictures. You know, it's kind of catchy um, looking. You know, it's kind of bright and, you know, I like it. Let's see, you got me a... Oh, I've never seen anything like this before. Um, I got to clean these up because I got the cat hair on or whatever that person had before, but... This is a Duluth Trading Company, uh, like, wool jacket. Weird, right? Um, like, I've never seen one before, but actually, the, the thrift store, when I went and found this, I found three other ones. They weren't the wool, uh, but they are these canvas, like, I don't even know where you would, what job that you would wear something like this, and to be honest with you, but... Well, I guess this is more of a utility jacket, but this one, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. It's a canvas, it's a canvas blazer. Like a thick duck fabric canvas blazer. Um, I have no idea what you'd be doing that you'd need a canvas, like, blazer, but I want to meet the person who did have to have this, that's for sure. And last but not least, um, I think I got this uh, from a seller I bought out. Um, something kind of neat. It's a little kid's, 
Little kid's LeBron James jersey. LeBron James, LeBron James. Anyway, kind of neat. I don't know, I might sell for like 15 bucks, kind of cool, but uh, jerseys like this and this is being that it's stitched and whatnot. Um, are all pretty much always worth picking up, especially when you're getting it. Well, I thought I'd go to Goodwill. I got this for two bucks. I didn't get it for two bucks, but you know, you'd buy, you pay two dollars for this and probably easy 15, 20 bucks, you know. And you, I don't even put measurements on the kids' stuff. But uh, oh, well, one last thing, one last thing. We got uh, Star Wars box lunch women's denim shirt. Never heard of it before in my entire life, but I looked them up and they sell for like thirty dollars. Kind of crazy. Um, Kind of a neat find, but um, again, always look up what your uh, something's unique, you know. Look it up. I've never seen nothing like this. I looked it up and come to find out it was worth a little bit of money. Um, anyway, that's all I got for you today. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for watching, um, and uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Thanks again.